thank you for, for joining everyone this morning. Um, great to be to be with you today. Um, for everyone who doesn't know me, um, I'm Andy. Um, I'm one of the regional sales directors right here in the UK. Um, I cover the north of the UK, so some of you may well have, have met my colleague and, and heard him on previous webinars as well. Uh, Richard, he covers the south of the UK, um, and, and my, my area um, goes up to, uh, to Scotland and North Wales and, uh, and so on and so forth. So a beautiful area of our, of our wonderful country here. Um, so anyone that doesn't know me, hopefully I'll get to meet you meet you soon once the world goes back to normal uh, and we can do things like DocuWorld uh, where we actually get to, to meet each other as well. So look forward to, uh, to meeting everyone. So what we're going to cover off today um, is some of the challenges of integration and it's something that I think I hear quite a lot um, and it's probably um, of the questions that my partners certainly come and ask. I think integration is absolutely up there with, um, with some of the, the, the most asked questions, um, not just now, but, but in general. Um, I think so. Um, so it's something that we're going to cover off and DocuWare is really, really powerful at this. I imagine today's session will be um, quite a short one um, because we, we can cover a lot of information on this subject quite quickly. Um, but um, but yeah, it will be a really powerful tool uh, that DocuWare uses for that. So let's kick off. So what we're going to do is is just think about the, the, um, the limitation of integration at the moment. And I think when we think of how lots and lots of system managers and their roles within their businesses actually work. Talking to some, not just recently, I guess, but over the last kind of 12 months at least, um, I'm, what I'm hearing an awful lot is that their roles are very often revolved around just trying to keep all the systems running. And what's becoming more and more apparent is that as companies start to um, embrace the, the digital future and embrace the change into the way digital systems work, actually they're bringing on more and more systems and what we're finding is that those systems as great as they are actually all live in their own right so what they've ended up with and what customers are starting to see is the fact that actually they may have four five six seven different systems in their business that don't talk to each other now obviously great that you've got those systems absolutely brilliant that you've started to um, to embrace Kind of the digital change and the digital way of working but a real fundamental problem if those systems can't communicate with each other and that really opens up that that kind of conversation um, of integration because should our erp system talk to our crm system should our crm system talk to our finance system should our finance system talk to our hr system well the quick answer is of course of course it can only be easier for you as a business if these systems can communicate in the same way as we as human as human beings would communicate with all these different departments if we were carrying out projects that we needed to talk about so really integration is something that it's not a new story it's not a new thing that's happening here but it's something that the more people move into this digital age the more they're going to recognize this as a problem and the more it's something that we're going to have to have conversations around. And for me, this is an area where DocuWare are really, really strong. We excel at this. We really, really do. Um, so it's an opportunity for the, the customers that the partners work with, for the partners themselves, to be able to really actually give a real value added conversation that provides a true return on investment to that customer. It's a massive subject. So some of the the key areas that um that i tend to seem to find myself talking about um as we go through this subject um i've tried to break down into into five key areas i'm sure that there are some that um other people would would um maybe feel i've missed off this list but these are certainly the five that i find um are, are the most um the most well talked about for me so um i would be interested to hear anyone's feedback so if you do have any others that you feel i've missed please find them over because it would be interesting for me as well to learn from uh, some of your experience on that as well so top of that list by a country mile um is what i'm going to call data islands or data silos as some people might call them so essentially exactly what we've just described there to get a full picture of the information that i require as, as, a, as an employee within a business I may have to travel to multiple systems to get that information. And that information could be made up of, of course, um, digital uh, information. It could be made up 
of um, paper information. And it could be that I'm having to bring all this together to try and make it actually work for me. And of course, as most of you will know, if that's the situation, it leads me to do what most people would do, and that's print all the documents out. So just by coming into the digital age, I've made a massive step forward in not having to rely on those pieces of paper. And then the first thing I do is create more paper because the systems can't talk to each other. So these data islands are the first big problem. And just being able to actually map this out and be able to draw this together for me is the first message for anyone who's looking to, um, to, to move in that direction. The second one is, is really a, um, I guess it's a result of what I've just described there. So of course we print out these documents. Well, what does that mean? Well, of course it's taking up my time to, to have to do that. It's, um, it, it's taking up a valuable resource to be able to not just my time, but also within mechanical resource of printers and so on and so forth, and all the, 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 thing, the costs that run alongside that. But actually, more importantly, I'm creating duplications of documents within my systems. Now, if I was super organized, maybe I would get to the end of needing those documents and I would shred them, in which case, no massive problem. We haven't caused a huge issue ongoing there. Maybe not the best way of working, but I haven't caused an ongoing issue. However, I think it's fair to say that for the most vast majority of people, they don't necessarily shred things at the end of their use. They will get filed away. They will get stored. They will get put in archives. And we will find that actually we've suddenly got more than one version of the same document. Now, why is this a problem? Well, if it's managed correctly, maybe it isn't a problem. But when we think of how we manage that sort of situation, I'm sure everyone would agree it would be very, very difficult, very, very difficult, because I can destroy documents that I should no longer have. But I wouldn't necessarily know if they were also in a different file. So just having that all brought into an electronic format actually just ensures that when I manage a certain document in the way that my business requires me to manage it, it is managed. It is not just left to chance. And that's something that's vital for any conversation. The lack of use and knowledge. Um, I, I spoke to um, to a company not, not too long ago, actually, uh, just last month, um, where actually their biggest problem was that people would go and look for documents. And strictly speaking, maybe they didn't look thoroughly because very often people were coming back saying it's not there. We can't find it. It doesn't exist. Now, very frustrating if the people that are actually needing that information know it exists, know it should be there. But actually, it could be that it's been filed incorrectly. It could be that it's been destroyed incorrectly. It could be varying different reasons. But because it's in paper format or on varying different systems that we have to go and look through, actually, we're just not able to find what we need. Again, by just having that integration between our systems and bringing everything into one place, suddenly it makes the, the art of looking for things and actually gaining the knowledge that we need to be able to complete the tasks that we're doing so much easier and so much more simple. IT backlog. Um, wow. I'm sure any IT managers on the call or any IT managers that you speak to um, will, will give you a, an idea around this. But of course, it's a nightmare for any IT manager. The more systems that we bring on, the more they have to manage, the bigger their jobs become. Unfortunately, we still only have 24 hours in our day. Our days don't get extended. So the, the job of an IT manager to manage all these systems is so much more difficult. And again, if we can have systems that run in the background and aren't being messed about with all the time because they integrate straight into a central platform, it's so much easier for everyone involved everyone involved because no we haven't got so many people making changes so again not only is DocuWare about integrating into different areas but it's about actually let's support all the people we need to support not just with documents but actually from an IT perspective let's make sure that we're managing things in the right way and supporting the fact that we can reduce the IT calls that are going in through not having to go into multiple different softwares and even just as simple as remember multiple different passwords 
collaboration is a huge topic and one that actually if we've got multiple distance different systems with multiple different logins and multiple different permission levels it's very very challenging to start to collaborate and i'm sure everybody um has had that that period i'm gonna i'm gonna pick on excel here so apologies microsoft but um, i'm gonna pick on excel and i'm sure all of us have had that that situation where we've tried to collaborate on a document you've opened excel and actually you get that horrible message to say you, you can only see this in read only because somebody else already has it open now for most people these days and we're all moving into that office 365 sort of way of working obviously we've we've had great strides in this area because more than one person can work on that document at any one time but again it's really really important that we've gone to the days where one person does one job we need to work together we need to be a team in every business just to make sure that everyone uh, can strive for the same goals so is there a be, a, be a, is there a better way well i think there has to be there has to be so welcome smart connect so smart connect is real really docuware's answer to basic integration um, and bringing those systems together um, from a search criteria now um, of course there's varying different other things that we've we've kind of touched on this morning and there's varying other tools that we can use for integration but today i'm just going to focus on smart connect which for me is a very very simple tool but it's so powerful one of the most powerful tools that we have in docuware from a user perspective in my humble opinion um, actually it makes things nice and easy i can go into any of my other systems and with a single click of a button I can make it talk to document. That is so powerful and so time, sort of time efficient. And it's really, really helpful in my humble opinion. So how does that work? Well, again, there's no more searching in lots and lots of different places. There's no more having duplicates of documents because we've had to go into lots of different places and print them out just so that we can bring them all together. For the first time, we can start to display documents regardless of what system you're working in and for some of you you may well work with systems that are very very difficult to integrate with in the age-old way of actually programming integration smart connect can even get over that issue by giving the um the, the overall integration that i'm going to show you today so we can display documents regardless of what system you're working in we can smartly index documents as they're coming into docuware so that actually we can start to search them more efficiently but the big problem for me here is no so, uh, any software and no programming any software and no programming massive 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 thing so okay so without further ado i'm just going to jump into um a, a small demo and this will be a very a very short demo today but everyone can recognize no doubt the the docuware system in front of them so we've got our normal docuware system and we can obviously complete our our searches in the way that we normally would However, the other system that very often people use, certainly in the finance departments, will be their finance system. What is Smart Connect? Well, essentially, Smart Connect is these buttons here. So what Smart Connect allows us to do is take any software, so whether it be a kind of finance system such as Sage or an ERP system such as um, SAP or something like that, actually, we can bring the power of, of Smart Connect and just overlay these buttons into the software themselves. Now, from a user's perspective, obviously there's nothing that shows me there. These are overlays. As far as I'm concerned as a user, these are actually part of um, the software itself. And how do we do a search? Well, I can literally see, I have um, an invoice here. I've got some line items. Okay, so can I see the document? Okay, well, let's have a look at that document. By literally clicking one button, we'll see that we have um, a little, uh, flash up here and we've got a flash on on our docuware element and straight away I can see the document as fast as that okay now I can see the line items and I can see the document that it's attached to okay that was quick wow okay so how about well let's see one of the, one of the other things have we got a delivery note that goes with that yeah okay I can see we've got some information okay well let's And here's our delivery note. So it's fast, it's efficient, and more, the biggest thing here is, I've not had to program anything. I've not had to complete any weird and wonderful searches. It's just one click, one click of a button, 
show me the document that relates to this information. And there it is on the screen. So I'm sure everyone can see the power of how that works. So over to you guys for, for any questions, really. I appreciate today's been a, a very quick um, demo, but quick and powerful, I hope. Um, so over to, uh, to everyone for any questions you may have. Okay, I'm really sorry. I don't know what that means. I, um, I've got a question that's coming that says, um, I see web interfaces with, but I'm not, um, I'm not exactly sure what that means. Is it possible to integrate, um, integrate Smart Connect with Sage Cloud? Absolutely. Yeah, abs absolutely. Um, Yes. Uh, is it also possible with browser based um, external applications? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. No problem at all. Providing we've got a, um, a screen that we know what we're working with, then uh, yeah, absolutely. We can, uh, we can do that. Okay, sorry. I'm not sure I'm getting um, parts of questions from some people. So apologies for, for that. Um, uh, sorry if, if I've got these part questions coming in. If you want to drop me an email, um, I'll happily come back to you. I'm not exactly sure what what that means. Um, can we integrate with G Suite? Um, I, I, I'm guessing you mean the uh, the Google um, platform there. Um, absolutely, yeah. So we can use um, Connector Mail um, and also the uh, the other G Suite packages. So yeah, Chris, not a problem at all. Can I open your microphone? Um, sorry, Harry, I can't do that. But if you can, uh, if you want to drop me an email, happy to uh, happy to answer anything that, that you want to talk about. No problem at all. How about data transfer into ERP? Um, so yes, it's possible. Absolutely, um, it isn't done with Smart Connect. Um, but um, uh, Mino, yes, absolutely possible. Probably need to have a conversation around what ERP system it is that you're talking about um, and what level of integration you want if it's just um, sort of data or whether we're trying to send documents or, or what we're trying to do um, yeah absolutely possible but we just have to have a little bit of a conversation around um, exactly what you want to do and the best ways of doing that really okay so I think I, I think that's all of the the, the full questions um, I'm not sure was it uh, Harry, I think um, it might be your questions that unfortunately are coming through as just part questions. Um, so I'm not exactly sure what, what it is you're asking, but if you want to drop me an email, happy to have a conversation um, or give me a call quite happily. Um, we can have a have a chat through that. Guys, I'm going to draw it to a close there. Thank you very much for your time today. Uh, I appreciate it was a very quick one, but hopefully a very powerful subject and one that's uh, thought provoking for everybody out there. Um, have a wonderful day and hopefully I'll get to uh, get to meet you all very, very soon. Take care.